Trust nothing in being teetotal and saving a shilling or two. If your money you spend, you've nothing to lend. Isn't that all? Thank you so much. 
in your veins. Quite a lot of folk maybe sat us back then, Mr. Hubble. Eh, Sam. I saw you fighting in Tom Watson's boxing booth yesterday. Up at Green Dyke Street. You went to South Paul. To Orthodox. Quite easy. There's no any can do that. I was fair impressed. Thanks, Sam. I know your dad, Johnny. Behind your sister as well, that was tragic for heart to heart. And of course your brother before he died. He was a good lad. He showed some potential to boxing as well, you know. Aye, he did. Who looks after you, then? I'll look after myself. <coughs> no, I mean, you go to manage it. No. Are you doing it? <coughs> train on the top, man. You'll train at my gym. Then you call a second. And for the build up to the big fights, we'll hit the captain's brace. Long distance running. The hard miles. Can't even get your walks to help. Build up your strength. Are you up for that? Who are they? Where do we start? Well, there's no time at the best. Who are Who am I fighting first then? Yourself. Huh? Eh? Okay. Yourself. Shadow box. You know how some folk are fear of their own shadow? <coughs> well, we've done training. See your shadow. It's going to be shit scared to you. <laughs> right. Get started. Are you following me? It's going to be eight movements. Okay? <coughs> right. First. A left to the body. Then a right to the chin. Then another left to the chin this time. A right to the left ear to knock a whole balance. A straight left, right hook, left hook, and finish your poor bastard up with a right upper cross. You go again. Left to the body, right to the chin, left to the chin, straight left, right to the ear, left, right, right, on you go. That's it, that's it. Hey, I want you to slow it right through. I want you to do it hundreds of times in slow motion. Why slow motion? Muscle man. See me doing the ring. Somebody catches you in your chin. We want your body to react without you even have to think about it. We want you to be able to do this in your sleep. And at the end of every training session, we'll soak your bones in pride for the fish mong at Stoke Well Street. I'll toughen them up. On you go. So it do.
You're good, D man. You might need a bit of proper money. You need to go to the boots down south. That's what I want. To make proper money. Well then. But mind. If you are going to go to the English boots, you need to know the lingo. It's different to Glasgow boots. You don't call them fairgrounds, you call them gaps. And the punters, they get called flatties. Flatties? Oh, flatties. But a flat cap. Wind up. Not at all. Sometimes we'll plant somebody in the town, come up and get him going a wee bit. You call him a chief fighter. And the money you do make at the end of the session, that's called your nobbies. Nobbies? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm done. There's no way I'd drop the gaff at the end of the night asking for my nobbies. <laughs> Thanks. So 
say King Kong in the right way to come to his song, you lassie. No, nothing. I just don't want to eat that bit too soon. Seem too keen, you know? Nothing in 
warrior through and I'll start behind the four. I know I can beat him. I'll be hand have a lot there and you be hand me. I'll never shoot to see the punches you take then. This is it, Anne. This is what we've been working towards. All the other fights, the training, the boots. Sammy had a plan. I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. Not sure that's possible then. Anything's possible, Anne. Anything. Same again, pal. Cheers.
So you speak to nine and get softy. Aye, you watch it. If Bingley ever shakes you with the horn, you shouldn't count your fucking fingers after him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Aye, you're too trusting me. Leave it with me, I'll sort it out. Early in the times, early paper, Mary Lynch destroys Jim Campbell in rematch. There was no going this time. You're bent for the goggles as the best in Scotland. Go on yourself. <laughs> How are you feeling? Champion, Sam, champion. That's the attitude, that's the attitude. Now remember this. Pain, there's only temper. You see titles, they're forever. I was some performance from you last night. You listened to me, and you did what I tell you today. See me, you stepped up after the ten. Campo had no answer to your strength. I told you I was going to do him. You did that, sir. You did that. Eh, I bought you a wee something, Sammy. Just to say thanks for everything you've done for me. Thanks, sir. Thanks. I'm going to get it engraved. Something like, To Sammy Wilson, from the Scottish Flyweight Champion. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Ben. I'll tell you what. Just get it from Benny Lynch's flyweight champion. To believe you me, there's going to be plenty more titles, and I'm not all going to fit in the back of that. <laughs> well, do, Sammy. Oh, it's all going to plan. It sure is. Listen, I know that maybe you thought you should be going for titles before this, but you see, it was so important that we got you prepared properly. You know as well as that, you won bad fight in this game and your career's finished. So, what's next? Oh, my God, a cracker right up to your next fight. Maurice Skugenin. He's a Frenchman. All right. All right, that's it. You know what, you know a wee bit about him? No, not really. I just know whoever you put in front of me, I'll beat him. Fair enough, fair enough. But this guy's no more. He beat young Perez. Listen. This is going to be the busiest you've ever been in. The busiest ever. I need you. Keep in shape. Look after yourself. He's up in the bed. Because trust me, your son, it's not going to be too long till you're up there fighting for a world championship. I'm going to be a world champion, Sam. I'm fucking well there. <laughs> ah. Well, I hear you bought yourself a wee motor. Aye. I don't like to fill up bars, guys, you'll break the clothes. Twenty pounds down and a tenner a month. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what? You think you had a big time? <laughs> Playing a big man? You get that water so pronto. You're not a world champion just to get. So it's all right for you to have a motor, but no me. Correct. <laughs> and another thing, playing a big man in the pub, that's what they stop. What are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. If I never did an anti drink, you think they all like to use Barlett? Well, tell me they don't. They're all parasites, baby. Every fucking last one a parasite. Alcohol's a poison, there. Poison. You reckon Benny will be in the day? There's a whole cup of balcony. I've seen him earlier on. See what he's going right up the road after training. There's no chance of you getting around him and Benny going straight up the road after training. What are you trying to say? Try to say anything. What I'm actually saying is, you're tighter than a camel's arse in a sandstorm. <laughs> See you. What you need to remember is, I know Benny better than you. There's more and more of a pals. Close pals. So see me and Benny, we're like that. There's <coughs> some amount of piss in me. You're more and his more pals, aye? Eh? They sat next to each other on a tram once. Aye? My boss used to go on really well. Champion, eh, Benny? It's brilliant, so it is. When are you going for the win? 
Thank you. Uh, we are no saying you're a murderer. It's just. Oh, he's a bookie for fuck's sake. They're no known for generosity. And what does a bookie know about managing a boxer anyway? You're Scottish champion, Benny. You're getting me the money. Is it no going to tell you to get rid of that more? He's jealous. <laughs>
Salam Church. Hey, it's hot. Scotland down. My fellow countrymen are looking to me to triumph, 
And ever since the referee raised my hand and told me a victory, I've often wondered what I've done had I failed. I know what the fruits of this victory mean for me personally. I'm very happy, gentlemen. And this function here tonight will always remain a very vivid thing in my mind. No matter what happens, I'll always be Benny Lynch, world champion. Future champion here, Anne. I'm judging by his eyes, he won't be featherweight either. No, 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 no. Middleweight, at least. He's been over near the boxing room. He's beautiful, Anne. Really, really beautiful. He did good. He did good. Anne, so I can talk to you about that. Oh. Me. Us. The manager, I want to get another one, not just because of the rain. Mm -hmm.
Somewhere nice, the front and back block, and a garden for the beans. Beans? Plural? Oh, aye. Sorry for losing the bottles, mate. 
You know what I've ended up on knees? Jesus Christ. That's unfinished. You've not got a license to fight now. A boxing board of control, I'm not going to part with that. Probably for the best, huh? There's a lot you can do for him, Sam. What can I do, son? I haven't done away. You can only help somebody if they want to be helped. <laughs> do you know something? Do you know what people used to say that Benny was like Jimmy Tagney? Oh, and he loved that. Being compared to a wee tough guy that can dance. That's all kind of funny things. He knocked out four big guys with one punch each. What a load of shit. I've seen that other picture, the public enemy. He shoves half a day through it in the park space. We would have saw that, but. Never a tough guy in his life, that. I hear babies in a monastery in Ireland. Well, I hope to Christ it works. I really do. Sorry for just checking your view. <laughs> been a bit confused recently, you know. I don't worry about that, Benny. Speak speak man. Hi, you're, 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 you're dressed like this, like. You used to have rough duty, huh? No, no, never rough duty, Benny. Oh, I suppose not. <laughs> Must be a nightmare having a boss that always knows where you're and what you're up to. <laughs> Even knows what you're thinking and feeling, Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry for that. <laughs> Physically, please. Right? There's no point in us fixing the body. We can't fix the mind. It's a drink, Father. It certainly doesn't help. But the big 
question is, why do you drink so much? I've seen you fight, man. It's a thing of beauty to watch when you're in full flow. You're boxing, man. I think it's a local lads here about Mallory. Hi, hi, there, 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 there's a feast in the gorgos. I taught the boys at the St. John's Boys Guild. I, I, I taught me a bit when I was on Eva's home. Far, 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 James Fletcher. I, no, no. <laughs> Sorry to say I've never met him. <sighs> Benny, you think you're a child off? <laughs> Look like an elf. <laughs> well, Benny, I, I think you're probably a stem from a child off. Child girl, second throw. Benny, your sister drank. You were abandoned by both your parents. <laughs> your brother died. Any one of these events would be enough to affect most of them.
and she's won sunglasses when it's been cloudy. Aye. Uh, she'd even do it for anyone. I thought I'll for her blokes. You are an asshole. <laughs>
Saw you a boy Andy little things. It's just some size, huh? Never. I sure have. Last time I saw my boy, Robert. He's missing a button. Both his jacket. So I sent him the Andy's man. Told him. He has to realise the boats have been dressed properly. I always wear a sharp dresser then. Even do. <laughs> Maybe they come and see you, Sam. Oh, I what about it? The boxing? What about it? Me and you. You and me, we, 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 we can start over. Eh. Uh, I'm ready to go, Sam. I really am. The gym. The Catherine Brace. Just let it go to old days. Listen, I'm out over that now. I sold the gym. I don't want any more to do with the boxing world. Full of snakes. Sorry. And even if I wasn't, you and me, it just wouldn't work. I think deep down, you know that. I saw him was his reflection in the windy air. Walk brothers at the corner of Hope Street and Sucky Hall Street. And I didn't turn round. It was done. The booze had finally taken complete control of Benny's life. There's always a price to be paid for it. A life of boxing, brutality, alcohol. Saturday, Glasgow belongs to me. 